Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another video for you guys. And today I'm going to be unboxing the new iPhone 11 Pro Max S. I don't even know. <laughs> I am so excited. I know that an upgrade from the iPhone 10 is not that big of a deal, but it's a new iPhone and we know that Sarah loves new iPhones. Uh, this special product right here and I'm so excited. Without further ado, let's get into this unboxing. Hallelujah. I have the beloved iPhone right here. This thing was like $1,100. So, so I got this one in the gold color with the 64 gigabytes, the max top of the line because you know it's Sarah Grace. It's going to be good. So I'm going to try to get another angle. I love opening new products. Ah, it's so beautiful. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. It is I never thought this day would come. <laughs> I'm so late on boxing this. This is like matte, which I don't know how I'm feeling about the matte, but the three cameras looks pretty bougie, you know what I mean? I feel like every single unboxing, we have just a moment of Sarah just like, ah. I love it. <sighs> it's so beautiful. <sighs> Ooh, baby. So we're gonna put this to the side, like all of the unboxings, professional, and we're gonna take out stickers oh boring 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 apple stickers so um at the end of the video we are going to put this on my mirror because we have a tradition where we put apple stickers on my mirror every time i get a new apple product so oh my gosh it comes with airpods they're not airpods that was a joke and of course ooh, it got it's got the bait brick wait a minute wait what oh. i don't really need these because i do have airpods so i guess i just have an extra pair of headphones now this is the new wire the usb-c to the us you know which is kind of weird. This is the charger I use for like my MacBook and stuff. <laughs> we have to take off the little, ooh. <laughs> and that's pretty much it in the box. Not as exciting as I thought it was gonna be, I'm not gonna lie. But the box is cool because it's black, it's different. They can charge me another thousand dollars just for a black box and I'll buy it anyways. Moving on. Finally, the phone. I was kind of like reluctant to get this because the only difference is like another camera, but I like unboxing stuff, so I bought it for you guys. So let's just take off the plastic, I guess. Oh, I don't want to touch it though. Oh, baby, look at that. Mmm, crispy biscuit. Mmm. I think this is so beautiful. I've been wanting this color forever, so now that I finally have it, you know I feel bougie. <laughs> so let's turn this on. Let's just hold down the button. <gasps> it works! Is it weird that I kind of regret buying it now? Because it honestly is not like that different. Like it just, you know? I feel like kind of stupid now. It's okay. It's for the video. So of course, we have the first screen. Hello? Hey, that's German. So I'm just gonna do a little scanny scanny so I can get like the new phone so I don't have to like import everything from my old phone because that is just such a drag. Okay, so now we're just gonna set up Face ID because you already know. <laughs> so of course, Apple takes like 15 minutes to set up. But anyways, this is the new iPhone as if you guys haven't seen it. And I think it's really pretty. I really like it, but I do kind of feel kind of stupid for buying it because I have the iPhone 10. It's not that big of an upgrade, except for the cameras look kind of different, but that's it. That's it! Do you guys think I made a mistake buying the new iPhone? Because, I don't know. <laughs> also, you guys are going to have to stay tuned because I have no iPhone cases for this iPhone right now. So you already know that we're gonna get some iPhone case shopping in for this phone. It has been like forever and I finally have my phone set up. It's pretty much exactly like the phone I have now. Like literally I imported everything. So pretty much it's like I have two of the same exact phone. Like look at that, even the screen saver is the same. So I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you guys think it was a smart idea to upgrade? Probably not, but you know what? I've had fun. Hopefully you guys have had fun, but we're not done yet. We have two more things to do. We're gonna test out the camera on this because you know, of course, that's like the main reason like it's upgradable. So we're gonna go try this outside, get some photos for you guys. And then also we need to add the Apple sticker to my mirror. So let's cut to that. We're gonna keep adding till the mirror is full. Okay. 
cute. So we have the new iPhone. I don't want to be. So I'm just gonna make like a little montage with this. This is in 4K, so I'll better look good. Oh wow, it actually looks so nice. Hey, look, there's. Oh, my dog's peeing. My dog's peeing. Cut that out. Censor. We're gonna try out the portrait and the regular and then the zoom. So. Ow, my foot's cramping. Shoot. Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> Look at your feet. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, that is so funny. Oh my God. <laughs> That's gross. Honestly, the portrait does not look that good. I think I got scammed. Come on. Stop. It doesn't look good, right? No, it looks really good. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know what's wrong with it. For Apple, this is like not even quality. <gasps> um, I don't even, I don't even know where to like start this like video because as you guys were watching, I was so happy to get this phone. I was doing an unboxing and I did not expect it to turn into what it has turned into, but it has been about like two days with the iPhone and it is already cracked. I don't wanna make this video, like I don't wanna put this clip in because I don't like to talk trash about Apple. I don't like to like down any brands, but I feel really cheated and I feel like I deserve a refund, like, <sighs> I don't know how to say this without sounding spoiled and like just rude, but like honestly this phone is literally garbage. Like, okay, let me let me put this into context. I got this phone two days ago. You guys saw the unboxing. After I finished filming that, I went to the gym and I took it with me. And I don't have a case right now because it's a new iPhone. I haven't bought anything for it. I was gonna buy it for the video, but I picked it up while I was at the gym and I noticed three cracks all over the screen. They're not huge cracks, but they're cracks. Like, and they're like, like not just scratches, but cracks. And I'm like, how could it have cracked so easily? Like, I've had my iPhone 10 for like a whole year. I've dropped it face flat and it's never cracked. And the new iPhone 11 cracks on the first day I get it. Like, this doesn't make any sense. I just honestly feel like this quality of this phone has fallen so much from the iPhone 10. Like, I don't want to, I don't want to bring down Apple or whatever, but I don't recommend you guys get this phone at all because Honestly, if I could, I would refund it, but I don't think they're going to take it back. If they will, please comment down below and let me know because I have no idea what their return policy is. I just feel really stupid for paying like $1,100 for a new phone when the only difference is the new camera and it's not even good. Like, I showed my brothers, as you guys saw in the clips, and they thought it looked really bad. And I just feel really dumb because now it's cracked. My new phone is cracked already. You know what I mean? Like, and I've people have told me, like, oh my god, that phone looks so cheap. Like, did you get that on Wish? And I just feel really dumb. And I really don't know what to do anymore. Um, I kind of want to keep my old iPhone 10, but now I have this phone. And again, like I said, I don't want to sound spoiled or anything like that. I just want to share with you guys in case you guys are thinking about buying an iPhone 11. Like, I don't recommend this one. Um, maybe the other iPhone 11s are better, but this one just feels cheaper quality. I definitely feel like they were, Apple was trying to like make some extra money, cheapen up the screen and stuff because I don't see the quality in this phone. I don't see the reason to upgrade. That's why this video is titled the way it is, but I just thought I'd let you guys know. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with the phone now. Just comment down below. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and continue the video where I left off, so um, thank you guys for just listening. Okay guys, so final thoughts on my new iPhone is it kind of sucks. Honestly, like an upgrade from any phone from this would have been awesome. If you have an iPhone 6, you have an iPhone 8, upgrading to this is awesome. But upgrading from the 10 is kind of a waste of money, time, and just resources, you know? I bought this because I thought the camera would be better for filming and stuff, but honestly, it looks almost exactly the same as the 10. So honestly, I feel like I just wasted a thousand dollars. Honestly, I feel like Apple is really just doing whatever they can to like get some extra money now, and it's kind of upsetting. Tell me what you guys think below. Do you guys have an iPhone 10? Are you gonna buy the iPhone 11? Let me know. So I'm kind of sad about that, but give this video a thumbs up if you're tired of Apple scamminess. Maybe I'm just dumb. I don't know. But as always, do not forget. 
Avocado Member of the Month. If you guys want to win Avocado Member of the Month and win a free avocado flush and a shout out, all you have to do is like the video, subscribe to my channel, and comment done when you're done. And also, I have a gift card giveaway going on on my Instagram, so follow me right here if you guys want some free gift card. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next Sarah, Grace, Saturday!